What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna get into how to dress like Zayn Malik. So in my Ryan Gosling challenge, I had someone that commented that I should do Zayn Malik and I decided why not go for it. So Today, I wanted to try and figure out a way to try and dress like Zayn Malik. So what that entails, basically, this whole challenge comes from a guy named Harrison Neville, my roommate. And basically, what you do in the challenge and what I did in the Ryan Gosling challenge, how to dress like Ryan Gosling, is that we go on a Google or looklive.com and we try to look up other outfits that he has worn in the past. And we tried to put together an outfit at a cheaper price point than what they're currently wearing. Usually what they're wearing is designer outfits, designer clothes, and usually that's you know very expensive clothes. So my job is to find cheaper alternatives to those outfits and provide that to you guys and try to go find it out in real life. And last time in the Ryan Gosling challenge, I just used the internet to order the items. But today I decided that I'm just gonna go to the mall and go look for those items in person. Okay guys, so the next step is just gonna be to head to the computer and look at those two outfits that I picked out for you guys let's go do it right now okay guys so let's first look up Zayn Malik outfits 2018 see I already looked it up so we're just good at images just like we did last time and we can already see a few outfits that are of interest so I'll just go to the ones that I've already chosen out just to make this a quicker process for you guys okay so the first outfit I really liked on here was right here just a suit with a white Oxford shirt He's got on some Oxford's, um, Oxford shoes on um, down below. Also, he's got on some cool green shades. And that's what really uh, caught my attention when I saw this outfit. So I think with this challenge, what I'm gonna do, I like the few outfits. I'm just gonna try and make my own outfit into something that he would wear already. So from this outfit, I would take the glasses because that's the one piece I really like the most. The next uh, outfit that I ended up liking, and he's wearing a leather jacket in this one. And typically leather jackets are more expensive and it's gonna be hard to find something that's inexpensive that's a leather jacket. Usually the zipper, if it's a better quality then it's a designer jacket and you can tell by the leather. So you also have a simple plain t-shirt underneath. You have some simple jeans, not distressed, but they're light gray, they're skinny. So I really like this outfit. I like the simplicity of it. And I just think that the green sunglasses would go really well with this outfit. I think we're just gonna end up going with these two outfits. I've already decided. Okay guys, so the next step is just gonna go to the mall and once we get back, we'll open the stuff together and put the outfit together. Let's get into it. Okay, boys, so we're on the way to the mall. We're about two minutes away, we're about to park. Now, guys, I'm gonna try and get some footage in there, but the security is crazy. It's just very hard to get clips. I've tried to film for Harrison before, and it was just insane, and they told me to put it away. So um, I'm gonna try and be precautioned, uh, you know, when I go in there with this thing, but I'll try to hide it. I have a little pouch with me hide the camera so I'll be trying to take it out when I get an outfit together let's go and do this guys see you guys so we just picked up every single thing except the shoes we're gonna end up doing the shoes tomorrow because they didn't have a journey to Tilly's here uh, the shoes that that are in the photo are actually Doc Martens and they sell those at those two stores and they're just not in this mall I'm at Lenox Mall in Atlanta and pretty good mall but they just don't have it guys so we're on the way to journeys right now in Atlantic Station and we're gonna go pick up those shoes so when we get back to the apartment we're gonna open up everything in the morning that's the plan let's get it
What's up guys? Welcome back. Today we are actually unboxing all the stuff we got yesterday. I'm so excited to do this. So I thought it'd be cool to bring you guys into the bedroom because this is a very cool room. I decided to go with a platform bed, get some LEDs underneath that can change colors to any color you want. And also I just did that painting a few days ago. I just finished it up and that's actually my first ever painting. Okay guys, so I'm gonna throw up that image of both outfits on the screen right now and show you guys exactly what we're going for. So in the mall yesterday, the first place I hit was Top Man. And Top Man, I hit that because I knew that there were some jeans there that would fit this particular outfit. Some light gray jeans. Um, in the store that I could go find and I actually did find a good pair that were skinny that fit well So I decided to go there and I thought it'd be the easiest route for jeans as you can tell They're pretty much the exact color of what he's wearing in the picture pretty much the same exact thing These do have a little bit of distressing on the knees. So it's a little bit different. There's no distressing in the actual photo so it's just a little bit of distressing there so this is the first item of the outfit i'll just throw these to the side for now and we'll get into the rest right now so the second thing i went for was the sunglasses and i went to urban outfitters in the mall to go get those as well and ended up getting like four pairs because i actually needed some sunglasses i didn't find any green ones which was pretty unfortunate but i did find some other cool ones so i'll show you guys the different colors i got um, i just got some normal ones here so this is not good to go with the outfit. Um, we got some blue ones that I thought I could throw in. So these work really well as well. And I thought they were very cool. They have the circle shape, exactly what we're going for in the outfit. Also, I got some other ones that are really cool, which are these orange ones. And I thought these would also fit the outfit as well. So I'll throw these on along with these because these are the only two colored ones I got um, in the montage of shots I do when I put the whole outfit together. Okay, so let's get into the receipts and how much this stuff costs so far. So the jeans, let's go to the Top Man receipt. These were $81.68, as you can see right there. I'm not sure if you'll get that. That's what it says. Um, the next thing, let's just say I bought one pair of sunglasses because that's all we needed for the challenge. And we'll just go with the most expensive ones, which, which were the orange ones. And those were 24 bucks. So we're roughly about uh, 130 bucks right now. And let's get into the rest of the items right now. Okay guys, so the next item is gonna be just the plain black t-shirt. And you can tell in the photo, it's just a plain black t-shirt that's pretty simple. And this one's from H&M. Um, I didn't actually purchase this, I already had this, so I thought I'd just throw this in here. So for the H&M shirt, that's probably going to be around $20, $15, something like that. So that's, let's just round that up to $145 or $150. Uh, let's get into the shoes next. These are going to be the, the coolest items, I think. So we got the leather jacket in here and we got the shoes in here. Okay guys, so these are the Doc Martens. I've never had a pair of these and I've heard they're an essential for every man. So let's just get into these. Here's the box, which is pretty cool. You got the side right here as well. And these were a, uh, just a simple template, just all black template that I went with. In the photo, they look a little bit shinier than what these are. I think you can polish these up and make them look even more shiny. So I think that's what he did, but um, these are a very essential shoe that I figured out that I probably need. So I'll probably end up keeping these. Okay guys, so we're finally getting into the last item and that is the leather jacket. I couldn't get exactly what he was wearing in the photo because that's Givenchy and that's a very expensive designer brand. So um, we had to find a cheaper alternative and most of the cheaper ones out there were around the 250 to 300 range. And I ended up just going with one from Zara. So the cashier, when I was checking out, he was actually really surprised with the price. I think he thought it was a lot less than um, what I bought it for. I don't know if I'm gonna end up wearing this uh, a lot. I don't really have any leather jackets, but I know this is an essential piece for every man. So here's the jacket. At the end of the cuffs, he's got a little scrunchy thing that holds onto the wrist. I'm not sure exactly what that's called, but um, it's a little bit different kind of style. He doesn't have these uh, particular flaps right here. He does have these top pieces right here, but he doesn't have buttons or anything like that. And I thought this was like the simplest template to go with. Now this turned out after tax was 325. I can get the receipt out. So here's the receipt, 325 is what it costs. So now we're at, the, after the Doc Martens, I'd, don't know where the receipt is for some reason. Those were like 125, so plus 150. That's 275 plus 300, that's 575. I said 400 at the beginning of the video. We definitely didn't beat that. So I think the last thing we have to do is just throw everything together and put together the outfit and see how close we came to Zayn Malik's outfit. I'll see you guys in a second.
right, guys, we just got back from doing that montage. Dude, I love this outfit. This is a sweet outfit. The jeans, the, sh the boots, the leather jacket, shirt, the glasses. I think the glasses are the highlight of the outfit. Like I said in all my previous videos that you need to choose one highlighting element to your outfit to really make it pop. And everything's black in this outfit, so you can make something pop. Uh, just something simple like the sunglasses. You know, these are orange, these are a little bit different, a little bit out there, and you could even throw on the blue ones. I mean, the blue ones are pretty cool as well. I mean, literally you could do just any cool sunglasses with this outfit and then make it pop. So I really enjoy the orange one, that's just my personal preference, but I think this came together really well. It's pretty much the same exact outfit as what he's wearing in the picture, so I think this was a success, even though we went over uh, budget, you know, by like $200, <laughs> even that, that might be a fail in a sense, but I really enjoyed the whole process of this whole entire outfit and putting it together. If you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like down below. I would truly appreciate it. Also subscribe for all future videos. Also hit that bell as well. That's going to notify you whenever I have a new video. That's going to wrap it up guys. Hope you guys have a good day. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.